So then the interesting question is, well, which sectors? And frankly, we look at how Moore's Law is percolating into new industries and turning them from industrial, crappy, low gross margin businesses into software-centric, rapidly innovating, like exciting businesses. Think of the transition Tesla brought to automobile industry or SpaceX to the military industrial complex or Planet Labs to satellites. In all cases, those industries hadn't seen a new entrant for decades. I mean, literally decades. There hasn't been an automotive IPO in America since Henry Ford, then the next one, Tesla. And believe me, many investments in between that all failed, right? A provably bad sector, but it's different now, right? It's a software-centric industry. It's got an entirely different pace of product enhancements over time pushed over the cloud service layer. Sometimes we'll see a process of innovation that spans many industries. So this could be, for example, the application of deep learning and machine learning uh, to just about everything. And it was initially a very geeky subject just a couple of years ago that only a few people in image recognition within Google and a handful of companies would have known much about and would have been applying uh, routinely to their products. It's gonna percolate out into almost every industry because it's just a fundamentally different way to do engineering. And if we could have, for example, a prepared mind about that, then we could look for a variety of companies in radically different industries that may not seem like they have anything to do with each other and perhaps spot an opportunity others might not spot at that sort of process layer.